Welcome back to the channel here on Navion Cars. Looking at the new Lexus LBX today, and I'm joined by a YouTube UK pal, Natisha Chatton, uh, who I've, how many years have I been asking? Do you come on and do a video <laughs> with me? We've done it. I don't think I've ever guest been on anybody else's. Really? No, I don't think I have, so this is a first. Okay, well tell everybody your handles, should they follow you? Hi, I'm Tish from Auto Social UK, and yes, please do follow me. I'm sure you'll pop it in the links down below. I will, good way to do it. And lads, be nice, will you? Just <laughs> comments. So look, we're both in Milan today to look at the new Lexus. What do you think? Uh, I am undecided. It depends what view I'm looking at it from. If I'm looking at it from the view of a Lexus customer, I'm not sure, it's quite there. If I'm looking at it from a view of somebody that's never bought a Lexus before, I think it looks really good. And when you say that, is that because Lexus customers are used to something bigger, more premium, or...? I think so. It definitely... Well, I mean, the target for this is completely different. And I think that is obvious as soon as you look at it. There is a, is a fresher audience, a younger audience, probably a slightly lower price point audience. Mm. Um, and I do think you notice that they've done a good job of fitting it into a semi-premium package. But it's still, I think, if you lined it up next to the existing lineup, it would be... Well, I think it would stand out as not being quite Lexus premium. Um, but that's the point, right? Well, well yes. But also, thinking of your normal friends who aren't that into cars, would this be something, one, that they might, uh, you know, desire? Price point? I mean, Lexus have mentioned they're going to take a customer who's probably younger, looking for something a bit sportier. Do you see them being interested in something like this? Yeah, I mean, for sure. And I like to recommend brands that aren't the norm. Yeah. So not your, not your Audi, not your BMW, something that is a bit different. So for me, in terms of, like, recommending a car, this is spot on because it's something a bit different, something that not everyone will be able to have. Of course, we've learnt about all the different packages you can have on the interior, which can give it some real personality. And I think it does have that against the rivals. What seatbelt colour would you go for if you could? So I really like the brown. We don't often get in the UK like the brown interiors. Yeah. So I, that sounds a bit strange, but I actually quite like those or the coppery kind of colours. You are quite lucky if you're watching this in the UK because you get more spec options than we will in Ireland. There's about five trim specs. Yeah, yeah. I'm, we, I don't know what we're going to get yet either. Right. Um, whether we're we'll two. get all of the interiors, that's a different story, or the bespoke ones that they've been talking about today. But fingers crossed we get a good amount. Let's have a little, quick look at the side of the car and see what we think of it. So let me just come <laughs> around to the side. You noticed something about the tyres earlier on in the car, Tish. I did, yes. I think from somebody who's not particularly technical-minded, yeah. there's a lot of tyre wall going on there. Yeah, which should, should translate into ride comfort, decent ride comfort. I also noticed these tyres, anyway, which are Michelins, they stick out a bit from the rim, so yeah. you'll hopefully find it hard to curb the, or hard to curb the alloys. Should I, you reckon buy I reckon I could still have a good go. <laughs> 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 and then, oh, like, do you like the way the car flares out of the back? I love the door mirrors. That's yep. one of my favourite things. Very Lexus, they very Lexus. They feel really, really premium. Um, I'm not sure. Somebody mentioned earlier that this rear quarter is Nissan Duke, and I've not been able to see it, unsee it since. Sorry, Lexus. So, yeah, that's, like, absolute sacrilege, isn't it? But I do like it. I do like it. And actually, looking at it side-on compared to, like, the RX, I actually prefer the contrast of this. It feels younger. It feels more kind of energetic. Yeah, it's definitely... I like that it, like, it sits lower than a typical crossover, so... Yeah. Bitone roof, would that be a thing for you? Yeah, I like a bitone roof. Makes it more interesting. Breaks up the colour. Especially with a brighter colour? Yeah, for sure. What the? What? <laughs> we, yeah, I was getting, I don't know if you could tell, I was starting to feel very nervous in that because we was... There were yeah. some angry Italians trying oh to get us out of the goodness. studio. We were literally being harassed. Mark had people with mops trying to attack him. Um, they were fully <laughs> trying to get rid of him. So we're now eating into my filming time, which is fine. We've got a I've bit more time. I've bit. done mine, so... So the back of the car, you pointed out something in your video. Yes. The Lexus... Uh, branding is yeah. lower down of the car. Yes. Do so you think that lose a bit of the premium feel of it? I do. I did really like it integrated into the rear light bar, but you've got to have compromises somewhere, right? Yes, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to remember where how it works on yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's kind it's of like in here, it's almost it? like floating, like in the bar yes, here. Yes. So obviously now it's kind of. But although I think there, there's a, there's another one in the lineup which gets it across the tailgate. So. Lexus parked a, a, an LC500 convertible beside this car in another uh, setup here today, and it's not quite, you pointed out, 
these little bits. It's not quite mm. like that, but there are bits of the LC that they've tried to say, oh, look, there's a bit of that there. Apart from just the fact that it has a Lexus badge. And that was one part that I just thought, yeah, that kind of reminds me of the back of the LC, but... Yes, a light, a... slight. It's, it is very... I mean, the thing about the LC is it's, it's a that's a pretty sexy car, yeah. right? And I, 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 I do think you could call this sexy, yeah. in a way. You get a wiper. A lot of car companies now are getting rid of wipers. An MG4... That will make people very happy, actually. Yeah, yeah. an MG4 has no wiper. Although it will be cheaper than... Than this, so it's interesting. So you're talking about sterling. I'm talking about euro. Mm -hmm. We reckon it'll be forty thousand euro for for this car. You think similar in, in the UK? I think so. How much is an Audi A1? I, I honestly think that that I think that they will try and nip it in under that forty for the tax reasons. Okay. So see, in the UK, if it's over forty k, we pay more tax. So I'm reckoning that they're gonna the entry level one. I think will be around like 39995. Just to, just, just, to, just to, to scrape to under. In, yeah. Okay. Right, Tish, interior. What do we think? I actually really, really like the interior. Yeah. You like the suede thing? I do. This is the, the cool, cool one, cool. they say. Um, personally, me personally, mm -hmm. I prefer this to the leather interiors. Okay. Um, and it is a bit younger. Actually, it's quite, with all of this um, Alcantara, it's a bit DS. It is. Like the, yeah, um, yeah. the really nice one that they do. And yeah. I mean, it's everywhere as well, isn't it? It's not, not just on the dashboard and stuff. It's literally centre console, doors. They've put it everywhere. Except the steering wheel. Yeah, Although the steering it's, wheel. it's fine if it's your car from new. I always think people have sweaty hands on an Alcantara steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, I agree. Does that freak you out as well? Yeah, it does, yeah, for sure. Um, they say that this sits 15 millimetres lower where your hips are in the car compared mm. to the Yaris Cross. How do you find the seating position? I don't know. I feel like I would have to. I would have to come up higher to be able to see over the bonnet. I'd need to be like there. And I, I, but are I you like. Of, are you I one like of the... sitting down low. Okay. No, I'm not. You're not one of those. But, like I couldn't drive like that. I can't. Can't see the front of the yeah. car. Obviously, I'd be a bit closer, I guess. But no, I'd have to go. Notice as well. I'm just seeing the EV um, when it's in EV mode coming up, but it's in Italian, which I haven't got to yet. But they did say at least 55% of your driving should be in EV mode in this car. Um, from the 1.5 uh, hybrid. Not as much as the Dacia Jogger. No, that thing was doing crazy. <laughs> I reckon it would do like 70 miles, um, 70 percent EV around town. It was doing more than they said it would be. Physical buttons, not physical buttons. Are you a fan of both or either? No, it's or? perfect. I like I like a mix of both to be honest. Okay. Well, I mean that's that's quite nice, isn't it? We've got the ones for the climate control. I mean, that's all I want, really. Just be able to do the climate control. Everything else doesn't really matter too much. Right. Have you got a mirror and a light? Not. I'm not saying a lady would want to do her hair or makeup. Not at the traffic lights. Ta -da! Ooh! Look at here. I have. Yeah, one of both. It's more than I get in my car. I have to, if I ever want to do that, I have to take the rear view mirror in. Just use your phone. Just turn your phone on selfie what, mode. Whilst driving? No! Well, you should be doing your makeup while driving anyway! <laughs> uh oh. A lady's got to do what she's got to do. <laughs> um, only USB C's. Yes. No USBs. That used to really bother me, and then as time has gone on, yeah. I'm like, everything is USB C. It's yeah, also it much faster. Yeah. You know, power from it is much quicker to charge things. So. I mean, it's great for us though, because, but we always know that a new car's going to come with it. But if you've got friends and family that only yep. carry USBs, then that's going to be annoying. You'd have to keep one in here all the time, wouldn't you, for people? You could do that. I bought a little adapter for five euro. Which is actually, that's brought me on to being quite interesting for quite a young car. Yeah. No wireless charging. Yeah, and actually would, would, would a phone fit there? It's quite... It's quite small. Yeah, that's go. not going to be a wireless no. charger. So what about under there? Would that... You know the way sometimes Toyota and Lexus have... Is that two pro... No. No. God, don't be too rough. That you feels... Pull it, you'll pull it apart. It is a production car. It's not... Um, oh, my goodness. As if they didn't already hate you enough and then you're going to start ripping the car apart as well. well. At least you didn't get someone mopping the floor <laughs> in the background of your video. <laughs> so, you... I mean, you're obviously... Hello, younger than me. You think this will appeal to a younger audience? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. I, th okay. I think it's spot on, actually, in terms of appealing to a younger audience. I, I don't like the Lexus wheel. I think do that's you not? Know? No, I don't, no. I, I think it's a bit, it's a bit manly. But then the rest of the car is quite feminine, so actually, I, it, it doesn't matter at all. That's like something so so trivial that really wouldn't bother me that much. Um, 
what else? I, I was saying, I really like, obviously, the fact that this slides back. Oh, you've broken it now. So I haven't broken it. I didn't break back. it. You have. Oh, there you go. See? Lexus reliability, never in doubt. Uh, massive bottle of water. Yeah. Like, if you wanted to put a, a massive two litre bottle of Evian in there, you could slide it in. That which. Evian? Fits. Evian, is it? <laughs> what water comes from Ireland? The you same, the same water. water that comes from England. It doesn't taste any different. <laughs> um, it comes from the sky. Yeah, I prefer the interior to the exterior. It's, I think it's Ooh. less. I think it's less like paralysed. I think there is things on the outside which um, some people may not like. Whereas oh, I think the interior is really the like, palatable. Yeah, it okay. is. Time for our summary. Right, Tish. Let's finish with your favourite angle of the car. Yes, the front which we have discussed, but just to come back to it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think we like it. I think it is a bit compromised <laughs> in the back for yeah. space and the boot for space, perhaps. Mm. But I feel like Lexus are kind of happy enough to say we've chosen style, maybe over a little bit of practicality. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they said that themselves. So that's, I think, we're fair to say that. And um, I keep to and froing with it, but ultimately I think I am ending back up that I like it. It's just having driven two of the larger Lexuses recently, yes. you kind of have that in the back of your mind. That's, that's understandable. But then it, 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 they haven't lied about that. They haven't said you're getting every bit of Lexus quality in this car. Yes. You, They've look, said. At the end of the day, you're still going to get what you pay for. Yeah. So, you know, that's what it comes down to. Um, so look, this has been kind of a, just our, our walk around, what we, what we think about the car, rather than just telling you information about it. Thank you for coming on the channel. Really enjoyed it. Thank you for having me. Um, You'll and have to come on my next. Yes. The next launch we find the ourselves The next launch, at. we'll be there. Uh, let us know what you think about the new Lexus. What's it called again? L LBX. LBX. Sounds I'm glad like... it's not just me. Yeah, there's a lot of letters. A lot of letters. See you in the next one.